here's a trick that I learned from my mom and I have never taken the time to confirm if this is true or not, but I think it is <laughs> because it's worked for me in the past. If you're trying to figure out how much is a yard, you hold the fabric out, extend your arm all the way and touch your nose and that's about a yard. Sewing hack. friends and welcome back to the air effect and happy first day of October I was really excited when I noticed that October 1st is a Friday because as you all know Fridays are my new posting date and so it just lined up so perfectly to share this video on October 1st so a while ago over on Instagram I asked all of you for some fall aesthetics that you wanted to see me style whether it be a color an activity a theme whatever it was and there are quite a few that I think would be really fun to actually sew and create as outfits so that's what we're going to do today I am going to pick three to four fall aesthetics that people sent over to me and I am going to make them into outfits let's take a look at all the fall aesthetics that people sent in and I'm going to pick a few and we're gonna to try to make them for a, basically a fall aesthetic sewing video, making myself into a pumpkin spice queen. I don't know what this video is going to be titled and I feel a little bit chaotic because I just came up with this idea like two days ago and I have a week to finish this and like... <sighs> Y'all, I see other YouTubers doing stuff like this where they make three or four outfits in a week, but they don't have four kids. This is... It's going to be a miracle if I actually create three to four outfits. Let's just say that. So we have inspired by reading Edgar Allan Poe stories and sipping apple cider. So making an Edgar Allan Poe inspired outfit. <gasps> oh, that'd be cool. But uh, so that one's possible. Bats. Bats one. I got bats a lot. Um, pumpkin spice princess was like suggested a lot. Sarah from Labyrinth. That might just be a whole video in itself. Uh, maple, looking for pineapples and toads. No, looking for pineapples. Looking for pineapples? So I don't know what it means, looking for pineapples. I don't know how that relates to fall, but if you know, you can let me know. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually did, it was a Tim Burton inspired uh, lookbook last year, and I was really proud of it, and it didn't get very many views, so. Uh, here it is if you want to go watch it and make me feel better. Anyway, um, watching scary movies, which kind of ties in with bats. Maybe I'll make like a spooky outfit, you know? Pumpkin patch, apple bobbing, ghost. And so I know these are all like different, <laughs> different aesthetics that they were suggesting, but there's no punctuation in this one and it just made me think of like a pumpkin patch, apple bobbing, ghost. So like a ghost who lives at the pumpkin patch and is trying to do apple bobbing, that would make a really cute cartoon. Somebody needs to draw that. Um, season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. That's very poetic. Walking in the fallen, beautifully autumn colored leaves. Dark academia, Harry Potter, mushroom fairy, pumpkin spice, again, flannel, foliage, wool, maple leaves, apple picking, autumn colored leaves, golden brown, fall leaves, mushrooms, rainy day, pumpkin spice, Vermont Country Road in October. And for those of you who don't know where I'm located, I live in Washington State. I don't live in any of the eastern states, which is, again, sometimes sad for me because I have a lot of friends over there and it's beautiful there, but <sighs> woe is me, I don't live with any cool old buildings. Um, pumpkin, Cinderella at University. This, I love this, and this is going to become a whole video on its own, so, and then fall leaves. So, <laughs> that was the most chaotic reading of suggestions ever. I'm so sorry. I'm really hot right now. <laughs> so the things that stuck out to me the most were pumpkins, pumpkin spice, etc. Um, apples, apple picking, that kind of thing. And then maple, maple leaves, fall leaves, fall foliage. So those are the things that stuck out to me the most. Oh, and mushrooms and spooky. Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. I have not planned this video. The only outfit that I know I'm going to make is pumpkin spice. Outside of that, 
I'm still running through the possibilities in my head. Let's go through the fabric that I have and we'll see if we can pick out some things that might work and then I am going to have to go thrifting because the spooky one, I don't have a lot of spooky fabric. This is my, my, uh, my fall fabric basket that I pulled. So we're just gonna go through it and see what we have. First of all, for the pumpkin outfit, I have some little pumpkins to make a pumpkin spice crown, and I have this fabric. So this, this, this one's like set. I'm gonna do pumpkin spice. That will be my first outfit. For that, I'm thinking, I'm actually trying to draft myself a pinafore pattern. If you know of them, think like Sans de Flore vibes. Um, I want it to be kind of very flowy, really full skirt, a pinafore, thicker straps so that I can wear it without a shirt underneath, but I want to be able to layer shirts under it. So for the mushroom outfit, <laughs> I have this, which is mushrooms, but it's a quilted like batting, it's got batting in it, so it's a thicker fabric. Again, I could make a vest out of this, but I don't know what else I would do because it's thick fabric. Like I, I don't know, I really like it. I would really love to use it, um, but I don't know how that would look. I could make, it would probably be a very cute vest if I made a vest out of this. So this is a potential. And then I have this, and this is the fabric that I was talking about maybe working into a spooky outfit. It is like sewing themed. Now that you've seen my options, we are gonna go thrifting and see what else we can find for this video. My goal is to make at least one piece for each outfit. I don't know if I'm going to get through all five of these outfits, but I'm at least going to do pumpkin spice, autumn foliage and spooky and mushrooms and apples okay you know what we'll see how much i can get done i'm hoping at least i can do mushrooms and pumpkin spice but i would love to get all of them done we will see but now it is time to go thrifting see what other things we can find to make all of these make more sense so let's go thrifting and see what we can find and I have some fabrics to show you. First up, spooky Edgar Allan Poe, Hall like scary movies, all of that. I found four different fabrics. First of all, and this was in the regular fabric section, I found some black and white gingham. I love gingham so much. I think that there might be enough here to make a skirt or a dress. Um, and I think this is gonna be a really cute lightweight dress with spooky additions and I will show you those right now. First of all, I found some bat fabric, but then I also found this really pretty black and white floral. And this is my favorite one. This is probably the one I'm going to go with. I found two pieces of this. It is this pumpkins fabric that is adorable. But those are my spooky fabrics. Outfit number two, apples and apple picking were suggested so much. That was probably the second highest suggestion. And this is going to be super easy because I found this, which is a circular tablecloth. And I am literally just going to like cut a slit into one side of it, make room for my waist, make a waistband, stick a zipper in it. It'll be super easy. I found, <laughs> this is really boring, but I found this brown fabric, which says on the sticker, apparently somebody had a yard sale and it was six yards. So there's six yards of this. It's just brown like cotton, maybe cotton sateen. I don't know my fabrics very well. What if I make this little, like one of these stays from the mushroom fabric. I'm gonna hit myself in the face with it. 
And then I make one of these costumey dresses out of this brown fabric. And then I can put the mushroom stays over the brown fabric. And that could be really cute. And then as a backup, um, because I know that I said I kind of wanted to do a fall foliage inspired look because that was one of the big suggestions. Um, I found two different corduroys. One of them is this orange and blue and like tan plaid corduroy. And then I found brown corduroy. But the plaid reminded me of fall leaves. But yeah, that's everything that I found that I'm going to use for these projects. Tomorrow, I will check in, obviously. Tomorrow I will be sewing. I will be starting with the pumpkin spice one because that's the one I wanted to do the most. And then after that, we will see what I can get done. One of these projects will not get done and that's okay. Possibly two of these projects will not get done and that's okay. Today is pumpkin day. I'm going to make the dress for the pumpkin spice princess look. Um, it should be simple. <laughs> I'm a little afraid. I have made myself a bodice piece of sorts that I'm hoping will fit the way that I want it to. So I have that. And then of course I have a massive amount of fabric. The hardest part will be figuring out the bodice. I'm a little afraid. I might just drape it on myself. Um, I think I want more of a square top than the piece that I originally did for myself. But really the hardest part is just going to be figuring out the front and then ah. everything else should be fairly simple. Uh, so let's go. The first person of making the pumpkin dress, you will see, spoilers, it didn't work. Uh, but I'm going to include all of this footage anyway because I think it's important to share what I did that didn't work so that you can avoid doing that. Uh, but yeah, this portion did not work. Uh, let's just get on with it. So, like I said, this attempt did not work because, first of all, I didn't use a bodice pattern. I thought that I could draft my own and drape it on myself, which, in theory, I probably could have if I wasn't so rushed. But I measured from the top of where I wanted the bodice be down to my waist. Um, I cut out a full rectangle of that length, and then I cut it in half. And then I cut that half in half again for the back so that I could add a zipper. And then I added darts. Uh, I tried to drape them on myself. I sewed up this whole thing thinking that it would be fine. I didn't, I couldn't really see how the back was fitting. And I tried to have my husband help me, but he doesn't really understand how to fit a garment on a person. So it just failed. And then with the skirt, I decided to cut out four panels to pleat into a skirt. Now, that might not sound like a lot until you realize that four panels is 240 inches that I was pleating down into 35. That's just too many. The machine couldn't take it. It was a mess. It looked beautiful, but it was a mess. Okay, we need to have a talk. It is Tuesday, and I have to put this video on Friday, which gives me two days to finish up and edit. Um, the pumpkin spice dress is not doing well. So I had left it at a point where I hadn't really put any finishings on because the fit was not good in the top. And the more that I mess with it, the worse it gets. 
So I'm at a crossroads now where either I'm gonna abandon this one and I'm gonna try to whip out something with bats, uh, or I'm going to completely undo all of my work and pick a pattern and make a dress out of the pattern today. The fabric is so thick and I did so much pleating. I love the pleats of the skirt. I think it's so beautiful, but I don't really know how to save it as is. In order to redo the bodice, I have to undo all of my pleating work. Um, and I, and if I wanted to keep the skirt, like just cut it off of the bodice, redo the bodice with the fabric that I have, and then reattach the skirt, I would have to hand sew it. And my fingers are so tired. I have done so much hand sewing and I'm like, my, my hands are dead. So I think that I'm going to undo all of my stitches and recut a bodice and then think about whether I want to just have a circle skirt or whether I want a few less pleats, maybe a three panel or even maybe just two panels instead of four. I have to think about it. can see I'm looking through all of my patterns to see if I had a dress that was similar to what I wanted. I really just needed a bodice pattern. A skirt is super easy. I knew what I was going to do with the skirt. Eventually I settled on this bodice pattern that I have used before. It looks a little funny because um, the pattern has some cutout pieces that you add in, but I knew the general shape and I just kind of went for it and then I cut the neckline to be how I wanted the neckline to be and the rest you will see in the reveal. Monday. It is rainy. My husband doesn't have to work today, which is great because that means I have a little easier time doing all of the things. So the pumpkin dress is mostly done. I'm just going to save that for the reveal. I have to do a few little fit things, um, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. So today I'm going to work on apple picking, apple cider, that aesthetic, and if I have time, also mushrooms. For apple picking, it should be really easy. I have this circular, uh, what's it called? I have this circular tablecloth, which um, I should be able to just cut a slit up one side <laughs> and then cut a circle in for the waist and add a waistband, add a zipper and be done. The apple picking skirt, let me just tell you, this is the easiest thing you will ever try to do if you ever try to do this. If you find yourself a circular tablecloth, all you have to do is figure out how big of a hole you need in the middle for your waist. Um, I didn't do this the traditional way. I know there's a way to calculate like how far down you need to cut it, blah, blah, blah. What I did was I took my waist measurement and I basically divided it by how many times I had folded the skirt over and then I found the point where that, <laughs> measured across so where it was like i think it was like four and a half inches or something um and i just cut straight across there and it worked fine and then i added the zipper i cut the length of the zipper into the skirt so that i wouldn't even have to sew up a side seam um and that was it i added the zipper i put in some seam binding tape and i was done it was so easy this is i highly recommend doing this if you want a super easy skirt that will take you it took me 45 minutes to make or less. The vest should be fairly easy. I am just going to do this simplest one, um, which is only two pieces to sew. So I'm going to make that and then if I feel motivated, I'm also going to take this like 
brown fabric and make some sort of really, really easy dress. Uh, literally just like something with elastic in the sleeves that has like no waistline so that I can put the vest over it. But that's a big if, if I feel like it. I will be happy if I can just get the apple picking skirt done and then the mushroom vest and then potentially the mushroom dress. And outside of that, it, we're gonna call it good because life. The mushroom vest was also super easy. I did have to size it up because I think the pattern is just a couple inches too small for me. Um, I did end up making it a little bit too big, but that's okay. I can go in and add some more darts or deepen the darts and it'll be fine. Um, my one mistake with this was that I didn't think about the seam binding. Because this is a quilted material, you don't turn under the edges. You're supposed to put seam binding around the edges. So I made my own out of the brown fabric that I had. Um, and then I hand sewed some of it because I my machine wasn't working right. And then I fixed my machine and I machine sewed the rest. But I did hand bind all of the the holes for the ribbon because I just think it looks nice and it's a super easy thing to do uh, and it was done again this was a super super easy thing to do highly recommend I will put all of the pattern information down below so that you can find this pattern if you want to make yourself a vest like this it was really easy to make um, and it comes with a lot of other things too so The bonus project, of course, is this pumpkin spice crown. I had all of these things from the thrift store and I found the pumpkins at the dollar store. And the headband is actually one that my daughters had taken all of the stuff off of. You could probably thrift an old headband and use it, but I covered mine with fabric so that I would have a little bit more space to add things to. And then I just kind of started going to town with what I had. I had some ferns, I had some orange flowers, I had a lot of things I didn't end up using, and then of course I had the pumpkins. Um, I really love the way that this turned out, and I didn't plan it at all, I just sort of cut and put things in wherever I thought they should go. because I had a lot of leftover stuff and I really wanted to use the gingham pumpkins I made a little brooch as well which I am just pinning on with a safety pin at the moment but eventually I'll get some pin back so that I can make it an actual brooch although I kind of like that it's not a brooch because then I can use it in my hair as well and now it is time for the reveals and a wrap up and all of that stuff. 
but I did it. <laughs> um, so let's talk about each piece, how I feel they went, all of that fun stuff. You already kind of know how they went, but let's just wrap it up. The pumpkin dress went disastrously, sort of. The second time around was actually pretty easy. Um, since I used a bodice, of course you saw that I just cut it out the shape that I wanted and it worked so much better. So I highly recommend if you are trying to make any sort of dress, you really don't need a skirt pattern, but a bodice pattern is pretty key. A bodice pattern that you know fits you. The, the apple skirt was so easy. I highly recommend. If you find a round tablecloth and you like the print, make it into a skirt. Like, it's so easy. You just need some binding tape, seam binding tape, and a zipper, and you will be good to go. I, I didn't really do it the way that you're supposed to with finding out the circumference uh, that I needed to cut out for my waist. Uh, I know that's not how you're supposed to do it, but it worked for me. Um, and the mushroom vest, I, again had little issues with I think the, the skirts the only thing I didn't have issues with because it was so straightforward the mushroom vest I had to upsize the pattern uh, a little bit and I made it a little bit too big so I need to go in and make it smaller but I also <laughs> I thought that I had to hand sew the binding on my machine bobbin was acting up and then I realized that I had my needle threaded the wrong the entire time and so I fixed that and it worked. Overall, I'm really pleased with all of the pieces. I will never try to make this many pieces in one week again, ever. The one thing that I wish with the pumpkin dress, I wish that I had remembered to cut it out on a fold so that there wasn't a seam down the front because there's a seam down the front. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with all of the pieces. I still really, really, really want to make a bat's blouse and a spooky dress, so maybe if all of you want to see more sewing in the month of October, maybe I can make that into another video. So that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know which one is your favorite, uh, what sewing adventures you have gone on. Don't forget, as we get close to 10,000 subscribers, if you want a strawberry brooch that represents my channel, go and like the community tab post that has the picture of the strawberry brooch in it. She is only going to make as many as like that post, so uh, go like the post if you want a brooch. Um, <laughs> But otherwise, don't forget that if you want to support my channel in more ways other than liking and subscribing and commenting, you can go down and check out my Ko-Fi link. I always appreciate that support. Thank you for coming on this sewing journey with me. It was certainly a learning experience. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved, and I am completely blown out. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved, and until I see you again, have a beautiful day, and thank you for watching. Bye! Currently Tuesday, and I have to put this video on. <laughs> Freya, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Type talking time, not quiet time. What are you doing, Cozy? <laughs> Excuse me, I need to move this. <laughs> Go see daddy. Hi. Hi, baby. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved, and until I see you again, what's my outro?